It is currently 8.04 a.m. And we are back with another Sean Crass Rex. This is going to be Bound in Fear, Penance. This was a very, very big, very, very big surprise to me last night when they, well, were unveiling this track, basically announcing the premiere, all that fun stuff. But it released, you know, later last night. So I didn't have time to uh, attend to it. But now we do. Now we have time to attend to it. Their new album, Penance, comes out in October on the 15th. So we got quite a bit of stuff to look forward to in in October, which I'm super freaking happy about. I will definitely, like, I definitely want to pre-order merch for this. That's all I'm going to say. But this is going to be a song, the title track, featuring Nick Arthur of Molotov Solutions because he's been gaining traction in the scene. So let's jump right into it. Hope you all enjoy. I noticed, too, that, well, Unique Leader Records has a new little intro thingy going on, which is pretty cool. 3D logo on the wall. There we go, Brown and Fear. <laughs> so ready for a new Bound and Fear. Shameless plug, liquid death. Let's get it done. Absolutely loving this. It just, it definitely has the aesthetic, and obviously the album cover is meant to be parallel to the Eternal EP, in which the Eternal EP, I'm wondering if, like Distant and other bands on Unique Leader Records that have uh, had little EPs and then albums after, which I think uh, Distant is actually the only one to do that so far this year for Unique Leader Records, contributing to a bigger album project. You get what I mean. But like, I wonder if all of the tracks on Eternal are going to be on this Penance album. If they are, fuck yeah. And if they aren't, even more. Like, hell yeah, man. That's going to be really cool to just get fresh music and have Eternal and Penance be one and the same, if you know what I mean. Well, let's continue. Ooh, I like that Block Dahlia murder hoodie. I see you. Is this where, is this where Nick comes in? Ingested hoodie too, that's sick. There we go. Oh, I should probably pause. <laughs> I uh, got a little bit too ahead of myself there. That was the sick feature. I'm seriously wondering, too, if with featurettes, like on Signs of the Swarm, alongside uh, Matt Honeycutt from Kublai Khan, for Signs of the Swarm's The Collection, which was a badass song, and then songs like this, 
A part of me wonders if Molotov's solution is slowly making their way back. You have comeback bands recently formed from members of other bands like Of Sulfur, which Ricky Hoover suffocate. And if I'm remembering this correctly, Ricky Hoover was also a part of Goliath. And that was kind of like his little gig for a little bit. Maybe I'm misunderstanding that. Um, all I know is uh, Ricky Hoover definitely looks a lot different than he did back then. Um, and... I mean, I'm all about comeback projects. I've heard a lot about, I've heard a lot about Molotov Solution for one. When me and David were talking on our episode for him for the Anatomy Podcast, he was like, kind of, he was emphasizing that back in the tw- the, pardon me, the 2000s, early 2010s, like Molotov Solution had a very, very solid standing in the scene, and they helped establish a lot, and therefore like having nick arthur on the collection was like a big big honor for david and he was all he's all geeky and cheery about it it was really cool to it was really cool to see so i'm wondering if Molotov solution is going to be making a comeback soon and if so when are we going to start hearing information about that when when nick arthur when but let's continue Bring it. Good, good build up, good build up. That was a solid, solid, solid beatdown track. Holy shit, that breakdown too. So, that was Penance by Bound and Fear featuring Nick Arthur off of their upcoming album, Penance, coming October 15th, 2021. Link will be right down below in the description after the hashtags, of course, because got to utilize the hashtags to pull you guys in. We are currently 137 subscribers strong. It is Tuesday. Let's see if we can get up to 140 by tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, you know, just throughout the rest of the week. And basically, I will be getting into a system to where because I'm working 10 hour shifts from home, I will be utilizing that time to be cranking these videos while I'm working. It takes a lot of patience, takes a lot of strain. And, you know, it's just like very, very tedious because of how chaotic the job I work is. But if y'all want to be seeing up to 25 videos per week, or let's see, 15, 15 videos per week, not including what, ugh, this, like, I know I've been saying it a lot, but I still, I'm still keeping my word on this. This next weekend is going to be absolutely enormous for this channel. 
the contributions to the bigger music projects quote that I've been talking about, that's all being unveiled this weekend. The context of those, well, that's a surprise. Everybody likes a surprise, therefore I'm not going to tell you, but you're going to love it. If all 137 of you now have been following my channel for the formula and with the sim like being able to enjoy the content that I've been able to enjoy reacting to, you know, on this channel, then you're going to definitely love what is in store this upcoming weekend. I am really excited for it. I hope you guys are too. We're going to probably be doing a couple more reactions and then, well, here's to the grind. Here's to all the editing process in which Sean Cross reacts is going to be a lot different than what it was before with the, you know, just Sean Cross reacts. Woo. It's going to be different. Y'all better be hyped because things are going to start kicking off. And yeah, have a good day.